This video is based on interim guidance from the World Health Organization. Home care for patients with suspected 2019 NCOV infection presenting with mild symptoms. The World Health Organization has developed this rapid advice to meet the need for recommendations on the safe home care for patients with suspected novel coronavirus NCOV infection presenting with mild symptoms and public health measures related to management of asymptomatic contacts. In case of home care provision, an assessment performed by a trained HCW should be done to verify whether the residential setting is suitable and appropriate for home care, if the patient and the family are capable of adhering to precautions that will be recommended as part of home care isolation, hand hygiene, respiratory hygiene, environmental cleaning, limitation of movement, etc., and to address safety concerns e.g. accidental ingestion and fire hazards before recommending alcohol-based hand rubs for household use. A communication link with a health care provider, public health personnel care provider, public health personnel should be established for the full duration of the home care period until the patient complete resolution of symptoms. More comprehensive information about the mode of 2019 NCOV infection and transmission is required to define the duration of home isolation precautions. The patients and the household members should be educated on personal hygiene and basic IPC and care measures on how to care for the suspected infected member of the family as safely as possible and to prevent spread of infection to household contacts. The patient and family should be provided with ongoing support, education and monitoring. They should adhere to the following recommendations. Place the patient in a well-ventilated single room i.e. open window and open door. Limit the movement of the patient and minimize shared space. Ensure that shared spaces e.g. kitchen, bathroom are well ventilated e.g. keep windows open. Household members should stay in a different room or, if that is not possible, maintain a distance of at least 1 meter from the ill person e.g. sleep in a separate bed. Limit the number of caregivers of the patient. Ideally assign one person who is in a good health without underlying chronic conditions or immunocompromised conditions. Visitors should not be allowed until the patient has completely recovered from signs and symptoms. Perform hand hygiene following any type of contact with patients or their immediate environment. Hand hygiene should also be performed before and after preparing food, before eating, after using the toilet, and whenever hands look dirty. If hands are not visibly soiled, alcohol-based hand rub can be used. For visibly soiled hands perform hand hygiene using soap and water. When washing hands with soap and water, the use of disposable paper towels to dry hands is desirable. If not available, use clean cloth towels and replace them when they become wet. To contain respiratory secretions, a medical mask should be provided to the patient and worn as much as possible. For individuals who cannot tolerate a medical mask, he, she should rigorously apply respiratory hygiene, i.e. cover mouth and nose when coughing or sneezing with disposable paper tissue. Discard or appropriately clean materials used to cover the mouth and nose after use e.g. wash handkerchiefs using regular soap or detergent and water. The caregiver should wear a tightly fitted medical mask that covers her, his mouth and nose when in the same room with the patient. Masks should not be touched or handled during use. If the mask gets wet or dirty with secretions, it must be replaced immediately with a new, clean, dry mask. Remove the mask by using appropriate technique, i.e. do not touch the front but remove the lace from behind. Discard the mask immediately after use and perform hand hygiene. Avoid direct contact with body fluids, particularly oral or respiratory secretions, and stool. Use disposable gloves and mask to provide oral or respiratory care and when handling stool, urine and waste. Perform hand hygiene before and after removing gloves and mask. Do not reuse masks or gloves. Use dedicated linen and eating utensils for the patient, these items should be cleaned with soap and water after use and may be reused instead of being discarded. Clean and disinfect daily the frequently touched surfaces throughout the patient's care area such as bedside tables, bed frames, and other bedroom furniture. Regular household soap or detergent should be used for cleaning first and then, after rinsing, regular household disinfectant containing 0.5% sodium hypochlorite i.e. equivalent 5.000 pm or 1 part bleach to 9 parts of water should be applied. Clean and disinfect bathroom and toilet surfaces at least once daily. 
Regular household soap or detergent should be used for cleaning and first and then, after rinsing, regular household disinfectant containing 0.5% sodium hypochlorite should be applied. Clean the patient's clothes, bedclothes, bath and hand towels, etc. using regular laundry soap and water or machine wash at 60 to 90 degrees Celsius with common household detergent, and dry thoroughly. Place contaminated linen into a laundry bag. Do not shake soiled laundry and avoid direct contact of the skin and clothes with the contaminated materials. Gloves and protective clothing e.g. plastic aprons should be used when cleaning or handling surfaces, clothing or linen soiled with body fluids. Depending on the context either utility or single-use gloves can be used. Utility gloves should be cleaned with soap and water and decontaminated with 0.5% of sodium hypochlorite after use. Single-use gloves nitrile or latex or nitrile, should be discard after each use. Perform hand hygiene before and after removing gloves. Gloves, masks and other waste generated during the health care of patient at home should be placed in a waste bin with lid in the patient's room before disposal as infection waste. Avoid other types of exposure to contaminated items from the immediate environment of the patient e.g. no sharing of toothbrushes, cigarettes, eating utensils, dishes, drinks, towels, washcloths or bed linen. When a HCW provides home care, he, she should perform risk assessment to select the appropriate personal protective equipment PPE, and follow the recommendations for droplet and contact precautions. Management of contacts. Persons, including caregivers or healthcare workers, who have been exposed to individuals with suspected 2019 NCOV infection are considered contacts and should be advised to monitor their health for 14 days from the last day of possible contact. A contact is a person in any of the following. Health care associated exposure, including providing direct care for NCOV patients, working with health care workers infected with NCOV, visiting patients or staying in the same close environment of a NCOV patient. Working together in close proximity or sharing the same classroom in the environment with a 2019 NCOV patient, traveling together with 2019 NCOV patient in any kind of conveyance. Living in the same household as a NCOV patient within a 14-day period after the onset of symptoms in the case under consideration. A communication link with a health care provider should be established for the duration of the observation period. Health care personnel should be involved in reviewing the current health status of the contacts by phone and, ideally and if feasible, by face-to-face -face visits on a regular e.g. daily basis, performing specific diagnostic tests as necessary. The healthcare provider should give advance instructions on when and where to seek care when a contact becomes ill, what should be the most appropriate mode of transportation, when and where to enter the designated healthcare facility, and what infection control precautions should be followed. Notify the receiving medical facility that a symptomatic contact will be coming to their facility. While traveling to seek care, the ill person should wear a medical mask. Avoid public transportation to the health care facility, if possible, call an ambulance or transport the ill person with a private vehicle and open the windows of the vehicle if possible. The symptomatic contact should be advised to always perform respiratory hygiene and hand hygiene, stand or sit as far away from others as possible, at least one meter, when in transit and when in the health care facility. Any surfaces that become soiled with respiratory secretions and other body fluids during transport should be cleaned with soap or detergent and disinfected with regular household product containing a diluted bleach at 0.5%. This excerpt was taken from the World Health Organization Interim Guidance Home Care for Patients with Suspected 2019 NCOV Infection Presenting with Mild Symptoms under CC by NCSAW 3.0 IGO License. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, leave a comment and share this video.